Hey there guys, Orpheus Joshua here, and welcome back to some more of Let's Play E7. On the previous part, we had a pretty lengthy fight against the Earth Dragon, but we prevailed, and we went on our way to, to Sigram here. So now, okay, so I wasn't sure if we go here first, like in the village, or if we just go straight to the Sanctum, but... I mean, it'd be pretty weird to just like come here and to not stop by the, the village. Yeah, I mean, you know, screw the freaking <laughs> torture that I all just went through like like two days ago. Man, Simba with the real um daddy issues. Oh yeah, he needs the um, incantation for the uh, for spawning the sanctum too, I believe. Oh fuck! <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh boy. Oh, so he used her then, huh? What if she freaking just died? That'd, that'd be pretty fucked up. I doubt that she could probably... Uh, yeah, I, I, I doubt it. Makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of fever's tied to, you know, the wind of destruction and that garbage. But now we are on our way to the Sanctum. So yeah, that's cool. Now the audio from the is well, I mean a running theme in this playthrough has just been the fact that I've been having trouble like balancing the audio with the game and my mic. Um so my voice you know has been overbearing the game volume, I think, for the past like two parts. So I made the I hired up the game volume a bit more for this part and hopefully it's an okay balance of you know, of of some of some sorts here. So I think we're gonna ignore these guys now because they really just <laughs> pose no value to me in killing. Oh well, except for except for this guy here, though. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! It feels weird to think that this project's about to end. Well, we we do have a good while left, but. There's less waiting than you might think, which is pretty sad actually, but let me know, like, I do plan to give my thoughts on this game when we, when we reach its, um, the end of it. But, um, though this is kind of fucked up to say, I'm not, like, I haven't really been enjoying this game as much as I did the first time I that I um, played it back on the PSP, you know. Um, but um, I'll get into that when we reach the fin the um the the very end, though. So yeah. Jeez, yeah. I keep trying the 
controls here. Yeah, let's go up here. Though I, if I do re remember correctly, there is a t there is a Titano around here that was too strong for us, but uh, we might be able to take care of it now. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Let's see here. Is it? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, there he is. So I, I don't know if we are strong enough to deal with him for now or what. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Okay. Yeah, there are a couple of optional type Titanos like that scattered all around the world here, and they are pretty damn strong for the most part. Oh. Mm -hmm. the, the power of plot! Let's go! Okay. We just like dug through the freaking floor. Just swam through the lava. Alright, so thankfully they didn't make us go through the entirety of the shrine again because it, it it was a pretty damn long one but just like that we're at the flame altar which, which is pretty damn convenient and nice all right it's the same routine as prior in the wind shrine oh well the earth, well, actually it was the Earth's Shrine. Well, same thing, who cares, right? From deep darkness thy flame ariseth. Shine thy light upon your people. Thou, as an eternal light, giveth life upon all things. Without thee, no life could be... Some cryptic-ass words here. And just like that, guys, we have arrived in the Flame Shrine. Oh, Flame Sanctum. I sound corrected. This place does look, like, pretty damn intense, you know? The song is pretty damn... ...metal, too. Oh, this fucking song, oh man! God damn, there's, like, I've been listening to the soundtrack on my off time, but, like, I, I haven't really, but I've, but I have this, but I have this bad habit of just sticking to songs that I, um, shit, I've, I, I have this bad habit of sticking to songs that I know that I like, because I've heard them prior, and I don't really branch out. So this song, I, I like, I completely forgot that th this song was a, was a thing that existed, but it's pretty damn intense. <laughs> but I think, from what I recall, my previous playthrough here, um, the flame sanctum isn't really that well. All the sanctums themselves aren't really particularly long, but they do have their own sets of trials that could probably fuck you over if you're not being careful. Oh yeah, this song is really, really good. I, yeah, oh my god. It feels like it's been years since I've heard this song, and it probably has. But here, there's lava, so we're so we are going to use the ice crystal here to walk up upon it. These like flame skull guys, they seem like they should be like neutral attack types, but apparently they're weak to. Um, aerial attack types for some reason. So there are spikes here as well, which kind of sucks because we, you know, it just makes it annoying to have to gather the loot there. But yeah, can't go there. So let's go east for now. Hmm. 
Nice job there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Earlier today, I spent, um, like, ten bucks on, uh, on, like, four humble bundle deals. And I don't feel bad about it in the slightest, because, like, humble bundle, man, that site's a little, like, absurd, just in terms of how cheap they make it. Well, the same thing is, though, I mean, to be fair, they don't really, like, like, I don't want to, like, downplay the import, like, the awesomeness of, of what they do, especially since that they, they do donate to charity as well, but a good deal of the games that they, that, that they sell, you know, are pretty mediocre, like, not bad by any means, but, like, just not, you know, like, as amazing as, you know, like, um, some gems, like, Isaac or Meat Boy, you know, like, not as amazing as those, but, see, but like, the fact that you're still able to get games like that and just save on, like, hundreds of dollars is pretty damn, you know, great. Jeez. And then I've been, I've, I've been playing, um, actually, yeah, we'll go up there first. I, and, um, last, well, yesterday I got V3 in the mail and I, I made a pretty badly made unboxing video on that, <laughs> but, um, last night after I, um, did my own crap, I started up on V3, and I played through the, like, the first, like, chapter or so, well, the, well, the prologue I played through, though, um, I did some really stupid shit where I deleted the, my demo save data, and it's, it, it was stupid because um, it, like, in, in the, in the demo, you know, let's not voice that yet, because in the, in the demo, for V, for V3, you, um, ah, oh, fuck me. If you, like, when you completed the demo for V3, you got to save it, and it, and it told you that when the official game, um, came out, you'd be able to load that save data into into the main game and get some like bonus stuff but but being the the mass that that i am i deleted the demo data by accident at some point so what i did is that um so like you know like i i installed you know the um v3 i also downloaded the update you had for the vita and i was about to um freaking um, um just start it up but then you know, but when it said that I had no save data for the um, demo, no fucking joke. I actually went back in the PSN store. I download, I downloaded the freaking demo. I played through it again, just really, just like really quickly. That was really suited me. Flame ring, nice. I played through the demo again just to get that save data. Then I loaded it, and then I guess the save data was sort of worth it. Like it does it. Like it just gave you some consumable stuff. Not really anything that amazing. Fling gym is okay, I guess. Um, probably not that good for you know an area where fire is the prime is the primary um obstacle. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, but, I mean, in terms of enemy design, th this area seems sort of la like lazy-ish, I'd say. Well, well, I'm, I don't know. We haven't explored the entirety yet, but um, they they do look like pretty generic fire type. Enemies, which kind of, which you know, kind of blows. But I mean, you know, it's a, it's a fucking huge ass game. Oh boy. And, but on the bright side, we are getting quite a bit of experience from just these gr these just little grunts here.
my god. This song sounds like that type of song you'd hear in like a fucking um club or something. Well, that's probably not that accurate because I've never been in a club, but yeah, I mean, you know. What's it wouldn't surprise me if I heard a song like this play in there. There we go, so Adol finally learned Rising Slash officially now. Speaking of him, let's see here. Yeah, we'll give him that, okay. And in this room, we have what? We, because we had a split path there. Well, they, they might just lead to the same place, though, now that I think about it, so Mana. Oh boy, here we go. Nice, yeah, we're getting we are getting quite a bit of nice experience here though, I, I have to say. The the foes are tanky, but they are well worth the trouble. Okay, so this it so this place is just a, is is just a quick side path. Power is the real. That sounds pretty good. That'll give that'll give quite the increase in strength. But well, let's see here. Oh shit! Give Geese a power three. Oh man, fifty strength. Holy shit! That's, that's a lot of fucking strength. All right. So now, now that we're done here, let's go back to this side and then. Yeah, okay, so up north there is where we're about to go next. In that previous scene with um, with um, Crucier in the bed, we got a brief snippet of Sigrun's face there and how, you know, she's taking this crap as well. I mean, the, the the thing with just this game and, um, well, I don't know what I was trying to say there, but the, the thing with the plot of this game is that, um, they try to make it really, really dramatic, and it works a lot of the, of the time, but I think just, like, one of the issues I have with it is just the fact that like the first half of the game is, is you know like pretty um well I, I I won't say tame but like it's it's like not comparably serious to the, the second half which I guess is the point so yeah I don't know what kind of argument I was trying to make there Oh, we have a firewall there. That's fucking scary. This from uh, reminds me of one of those of like the final area in Tales of Berseria. Well, one of the well, I think it's up in like the in like the mountain place near the end of the game where you're like climbing and then you're in this like lava place. Man, the experience here is pretty damn nice, I must say. Fuck, here we go again. Oh, there's fruit here, that's weird. Oh, fuck the, the firewall! Okay, shit. Guys, you can't jump across fucking... <laughs> across like that many miles of space. Oh my god, guys. Actually, like, scaring me a bit here.
Ah, oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, like, attacking with Sigrun really isn't the funnest thing in the world, but, um... Well, I mean, all of the aerial types are just kind of meh. You know, like, it is just spamming A quite a bit. With the occasional skill throw on there. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. Nice of the job there. Give a nice side path towards our west as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna traverse there at first. Guys, help me out here. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, it's gonna be quite something else. Let's go! Invincible strike! Yeah, I wouldn't say that that, that, that was a waste of a extra kill because these guys do take quite a while to kill. Oh fuck. Okay, that was stupid. Ah oh, god. Okay. Yeah, yeah, some skills I've I've noticed have varying levels of experience. So com so combination there for don't use that level like what? Seven? Oh, oh that's new. Oh a thousand HP to everyone, that's pretty damn great. Wait, oh, that was that was twenty five thousand gold. Holy shit, that's a lot of gold. Okay. Sigrun's killer hornet skill is actually like really really good. <laughs> Nice, Elk got experience there. Jeez, yeah. These guys, like, in some sort of, like, weird... ...way... ...kind of remind me a bit of, um, the, uh... They, they do actually remind me a bit of, um... Like some of the turrets and the binding of Isaac, just you know, just a little bit, really. Yeah, that skill is really damn cool. That skill is really damn cool. So there is a path of sorts down here, which I mean, they both lead to the same place, so. Oh fuck. Yeah, I think a reason for why these guys are so tanky is because you have quite a bit of party members with, um, with you now. So I guess they kind of expect you to, to just like switch out here and then, which makes sense. I mean, doesn't really part of my play style though, you know. Yeah, it feels like every like five or so enemies we 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 kill, we get a crap load of experience. Yeah, we're getting some very constant level increases here. There's some sand there, cause why not, right? I like how they just fucking stand there and just watch you do the gathering. 
Like, sometimes they they do gather with you, but when there's enemies around you, like they just stand, like they either just fight or they just stand there for some weird for some weird like reason. Well, I could understand fighting back, but the fact that they just stand there is just kind of weird to me. Thank you, Orpus. So, as I said in the in the in the last part, I believe, or the two parts ago, um, in all these sanctums, the respective party member does get a new weapon there. So in this case, it's Simba who got a new hammer, which is pretty damn great. So yeah, now let's just try to, try to like go a fast, fast bit here. It's pretty damn crowded with enemies to kill and whatnot. Alright, damn, yeah, there's- I feel like there's a lot more enemies to fight in here than they are usually. But, yeah, guys, um, yeah, we've- we've actually reached a- reached a save point here. I think I'm gonna- I think ending's off here for now because a lot of times it passed here while we were just um, fighting around. And this next time in E7, we'll be taking on the boss for this area. And hopefully I'll talk more, because I was really just focused on the fighting here. <laughs> so yeah, um, see you guys later. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.